With me uh, in Canberra, I have uh, Professor Gavin Hilson from uh, University of Surrey. Welcome to Canberra in Australia. And I understand you've, uh, you've just come from Perth and uh, you are attending this conference in, in Canberra, uh, which is to do with Australia-Africa relations. Um, what, uh, what in your mind is the, the key point that might be missing in those discussions between Australia and Africa as to the extractive industries? Well, I think there's, there's been a lot of focus on large-scale mine development. Uh, and that's where the Australians come in with their inputs, their expertise, their resources. But I think there's been um, a lack of focus as far as the entire African development agenda goes on, on small-scale mining, which, is, which, is, which utilizes indigenous inputs, such as labor, capital, and has that recognizable multiplier effect, generating those, those jobs you need in Africa, much needed source of employment creation and revenue. And, and to your mind, what's been the, some of the disadvantages of the large-scale extractive industries by Australian companies in Africa? Well, it's a short-term solution. Uh, the way the policies are set up, the development policy machinery, um, it, it enables Australian companies to come in and partner with governments and, and set up shop. And that's going to generate a, a stream of revenue for the government in, in, in the form of royalties and taxes and so on. But it's what the governments do with that revenue that, that, that counts. And, and, and that's where the debate lies and is, is focused on the moment. What is the government doing with that revenue? But what's been your, your practical experience from what you've studied in Africa? Um, well, in terms of the mining, we see that these, these mines uh, take the form of enclaves, which don't generate that downstream um, industry, downstream growth that you need and doesn't kickstart the development of downstream industries at all. And um, it's just gen generally a relationship between the mining company and the government that, that, that is in effect catalyzed. And there's nothing in terms of local economic development taking place. So what are, what are the claim of uh, corporate social responsibility that uh, mining companies say they are very success successful at in Africa? Well, I mean, this is where corporate, these are the settings in which corporate social responsibility are, are, is in effect magnified. Corporate social responsibility should be complementary to what's going on already. And the problem is there's not much going on already. Yes, because you're going into, into bare, you know, virgin territory and there's no one there and nothing there. Yeah, in effect, the, the, the mining com company becomes the de facto government, so. Okay, well, that's interesting. And um, have you published any paper along those lines that we could read? Yeah, I've, I've, I've published uh, about 150 journal articles on small-scale mining, small-scale mining and large-scale mining relations, corporate social responsibility and, and, and the international mining sector. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Hilson. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.